Hi everyone, welcome back to SG Doctor Wellness. The year is divided into the external, middle, and internal year. Infection of the external year is called otitis externa. It is a very common condition that can cause a significant discomfort. And in this video, I will share more about its causes, symptoms, and treatment. If you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button now. Otitis externa is an inflammatory process of the external ear canal, usually by bacteria and occasionally by fungus. It is commonly known as the swimmer's ear. The external ear canal is warm, dark and prone to becoming moist, making it an excellent environment for bacteria and fungal growth. The skin is very thin and therefore the canal is easily traumatized. Some of the common triggers to getting an infection of the external ear includes increased moisture due to swimming, perspiration, and high humidity, insertion of foreign objects such as fingernails, cotton buds, hearing aids, and ear plugs, trauma to ear canal due to stretching, and excessive removal of ear wax, and in some cases, due to pre-existing skin conditions affecting the ear like eczema, psoriasis, and seborrheic dermatitis that can impair the skin's protective mechanism. Some simple tips to prevent this from happening includes avoiding the use of cotton buds, cotton tip, or ear wax spoon to clean your ear wax as the ear has its own natural mechanism to remove the ear wax. If you swim regularly, it's important to ensure your ears are dry after a swim. You can dry your ear after a swim or after a bath using a hair dryer on the lowest heat setting. The two most common characteristic symptoms of otitis externa are ear discomfort in the form of pain and or itching, and external ear discharge. The ear discomfort can range from itchiness to severe pain that is exacerbated by motion of the ear, including chewing, pain when touching or wiggling the ear lobe. And sometimes the patient can also complain of ear fullness and loss of hearing. When you have the above symptoms, do seek medical attention. Doctors can make a diagnosis through your history and an ear examination using an instrument known as the otoscope. Treatment of otitis external involves a few steps. Firstly, if there are excessive debris or ear wax that may impair healing and absorption of medications, they need to be removed via ear toilet or suctioning. Do take note that in the acute stage of external ear infection, flushing of the ear is not recommended as it may cause damage to your eardrum. Secondly, Ear drops which contain antibiotics or steroids or a combination of both are often given to reduce infection and inflammation. Occasionally, ear wicks may be inserted to allow the topical antibiotics to reach the deeper part of the ear canal. In the event the infection is persistent despite topical ear drops, oral antibiotics may occasionally be used. Sometimes, concomitant middle ear infection may also occur. We have to suspect that if the patient is having a high fever, if the ear pain is severe, if there's lymph node enlargement around the ears or at the neck, or if the patient is also having an upper respiratory tract infection, and in patient younger than two years old. So there you go. Recognize the signs and symptoms of an external ear infection and seek medical attention early. Remember some of the simple tips to prevent it from happening. Subscribe, like, and share this video. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy.